Differences between TSA PreCheck, Clear, and Global Entry. They all help you in one way or another get through the airport quicker, but each program does that in different ways. It can be confusing. However, by using this diagram at the end of this video, you'll clearly understand the difference between the three programs. How is everyone doing? It's Calbi Ng here, bringing you another video to help you make the right choices. Well, first let me explain my chicken scratch of a diagram. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible and only include the bare bones of the airport security process. So the black zigzags on the left and right sides would represent the lines you would first wait at to begin the screening process for normal TSA and TSA pre-check. The gray boxes would represent the TSA agent at the end of those lines, with the big gray box on the top representing the border patrol agent when you come back from an international trip. Then on the bottom here are the clear machines, the machines to the left are the 3D body scanners, on the right are just normal body scanners, and finally on the top is the global entry kiosk. So normally, if you had none of the programs, TSA PreCheck, Clear, or Global Entry, you know, just your everyday masochist, you would start at the TSA line, the much longer line on the left side. After you get through that headache of a line, if you do make it through, you would show the TSA agent your boarding pass and ID, and get in another line for the x-ray machines, and try your best to stay sane. After that, you would grab a gray bin, put your liquid bag, everything in your pockets, your belt, and large electronics in the bin with your shoes directly on the belt. Wait until you're called to walk through the body scanner, then spread like an eagle. After you walk out of the 3D body scanner, you'll most likely be randomly pat down. Finally, grab your stuff out of the gray bin and put that all away. Remember, the rabbit goes into the hole or something like that. I didn't know how to properly tie my shoes till I was in high school and start running to your gate because you're probably late. You could go through that process. We wouldn't be friends, but what is my friendship really worth to you anyways? I'm just a cat or it could be so much better. So for TSA PreCheck, you would start at the much shorter dedicated line on the right side. Show the TSA agent your boarding pass and ID. After that, grab a small white bin and empty your pockets. And here's the greatest part of TSA PreCheck. Unless you have a heavy jacket, you don't have to take anything out or even take anything off. So the liquid bag, belt, light jacket, large electronics in your shoes, you can keep that all where they are. And just go on and slide your stuff through with it still being in the carry-on, which makes the line a lot smoother and quicker. That's why the lines are usually shorter compared to the normal TSA lines. After you're done with that, walk through the body scanner, grab your stuff at the end of the x-ray machine and stuff them back into your pockets, and start heading over to the lounge and get yourself a bagel because that's it. But maybe you're thinking, that's still not fast enough. Or maybe you don't want to show your ID when you meet the TSA agent, for whatever reason. Maybe your driver's license photo has baby face. I don't know. That's when you would want to sign up for Clear. Clear can be used for normal TSA or TSA pre-check. With Clear, basically you skip the line before the TSA agent checks your boarding pass and ID. So how it would work if you signed up for clear is you would go to a clear dedicated line. There will be clear assistance that will guide you to the clear machines. Scan your boarding pass and then choose between scanning your eyes, face, or fingerprints. Sometimes the machine will randomly ask you to show your ID to the clear assistance, but most of the time that isn't required. Out of the eight trips I've taken since I've gotten clear, my wife was asked to show her ID once. And after that's done, a clear assistance will guide you to the TSA agent. Show the TSA agent your boarding pass, no need to show them your ID, and you skip the line for a TSA and TSA pre-check. Now those were all methods to get to your gate faster, but for an international trip you take, you might want to go back home and exit the airport faster. That's when you will want to get global entry, and usually when you're approved, you will also get TSA pre-check included with global entry. Basically how global entry works is when entering the country back from an international trip, you'll get off the airplane and head towards international arrivals to get screen. But for global entry, you would want to find these global entry kiosks. Scan your passport and fingerprints. I heard they're trying to transition to facial scan soon. Answer a couple questions and a ticket will print out. Then hand that ticket over to the border patrol officer and away you go. Compared to waiting in the normal much longer line and being screened by a border patrol officer. And that's basically the difference between all three programs. The too long didn't read version or TLDR clear gets you past any TSA line before the x-ray machine. TSA pre-check is a dedicated line with a less invasive body scanner and less things you have to remove from your person, and global entry gets you back into the country faster. If you decide you want all three programs, there's only one card that will cover clear, global entry, and TSA pre-check, which is the American Express Platinum. I've personally used the Platinum to cover my and my wife's clear membership, my and my wife's global entry membership, and my mother's TSA pre-check membership at no extra cost, all included with the Amex Platinum. I'll include a referral link in the description, but before you apply, make sure the card works for you. It isn't the right card for everyone. If you want to know more about the experience and the whole process, of signing up for either TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, and which other credit card options will cover those memberships for free, check out this video. Subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you later.